I didn't tell him because then he might have stolen the shirt. I stole the shirt. Oh, what shirt? RMC loves this shirt. Thank you. I think we actually Tyler, got this shirt. Done. Didn't we yeah. get this shirt for oh. RMC's birthday? Yeah, I think, I think so. yeah, I think we got it. It was like in May or something. Mm -hmm. Let's all go for mm -hmm. dumplings. Yeah, if we do go for dumplings, we should all meet up at Jade Garden. And we'll have like, we give them all the business, give them all the love. We really patient because it might be the owner son in the back cooking mm -hmm. all of our dim sum by himself. He could be greeting you, making you all the dim sum. Yeah. Yeah. So I like, so Din Tai Fung, uh, Salty Sting uh, Din Tai Fung, which is good. Nothing too. compared uh, so. to Jade Garden. Nothing. What's it's the best thing in Din Tai, in Din tai Fung for you guys? Uh, Not the short ribs because they're served cold, which freaks oh. me out. I, yeah. I just like their Shall Shalom Bao. Their yeah. noodles. Like, their noodles like, are very bao, good. Isn't Bao just the best thing ever? Yeah, specifically <laughs> what made them fa their famous is Shalom Bao. Is it dumplings? Right, is it steamed or is it baked? Steamed. 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 Yeah. And it's 20 pleats. And if I'm not mistaken, you have to so master So they're always 20. smaller than the baked bao? Yeah. 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 Dozone is the one that has the, um, the baked, baked stuff, steamed ones. and then they fry it so there's a crispy bottom mm. to it. So it's like half fried, yeah, half baked. I want to try the rice paper tok hack. Nudes, what is that hack? I've never heard of a rice paper tok hack. Din Tai Fung is good too. Hacky, hacky, hacky. Din Tai Fung yeah. is better than Dozone, especially like since Dozone like stopped it. making them on site. Oh, really? Who's the strength? So yeah, Dozone that's at least the one in uh, Redmond. Oh, I did not know that. Din Tai Fung is good. I like, I did, I like Din Tai Fung. I have nothing no, against them. You know, uh, for dumplings, I actually like Yang dumplings. Right Who's here there? in Kirkland. Oh, Wait, where? Order. It's by uh, that coffee shop. But, that uh, coffee Mercury, shop? Mercury Coffee. Downtown? In, or uh, yeah. By or uh, Totem Lake. Totem Lake area. Okay. What's it called? Yang. Yang. Oh, Yang's I'm Dumplings. There. Yang's Dumplings? Yeah. It's a no frills place. Like, you walk in, lady, like, seats you on these, like, cheap plastic tables with, like, a table what cover. I don't give a shit what I'm sitting on if you're but, putting something amazing in my mouth. So, <laughs> they're, all their dumplings are meant to be, like, shared. Like, you get, like, 14, Ooh. at least 14 dumplings per order. And they have, like, all kinds of dumplings. And you can have them either boiled, steamed, or fried. Frank, why haven't we eaten there yet? So, yeah, bring me back some. You yeah. guys go and bring me back some. So, you can have them prepared however you like. You know, and awesome. it's great. It's like no frills, just plain dumplings. How'd and, you end up there? Uh, how did I end up there? I was driving along and I saw Yang's dumplings. I'm like, that sounds great. <laughs> and I ordered, I ordered like three orders of dumplings and like oh, Jesus. And and soup. Yeah, could serve and, like 20 and I, people. And I had, to eat, I had to eat like 40 dumplings by myself. <laughs> did you do it? I did. <laughs> I had a coma afterwards, but it was delicious. We should go try that out. <laughs> Yang's dumplings. Uh, ooh, dumplings, or what else did you see? Yes, so we, or, uh, Robert has pot sticker dumplings going, and then, uh, Fung is Fish doing shumai pork. with pork and, are you both of yours pork and shrimp? Yeah. 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 So they're both doing pork and shrimp. Differently, seasoned think. differently, presented and folded differently. Top Gun is pretty good. Top Gun is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Top Gun is Is that, a, is that a dumpling place? <laughs> oh, yeah, Top Gun is Taipung, yeah. Oh, I only Dumplings is we good. Do it all? I am asked. Wow. I asked myself the WWRD. What would Robert do? Hoji was saying WWRD. Hmm? Always asking himself, what would Robert do? <laughs> you ran out of yeah, you that's a good one. Dumplings? Get a little bracelet, Hoji, that says WWRD. I agree. Uh, Suki's never had dim sum. Oh well, we can fix that right quick for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Suki. Okay. We can even ease you into it. We won't do chicken feet the first time. But yeah, yeah. Th th there is some. Interesting. Oh. There's there is some interesting things interesting in there. Interesting things you can get. But, but well, the majority the majority of it is really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some of it's a little uh, ooh, ooh. Some of them are a little uh, adventurous for people who didn't grow up with it. But uh, I will say, um, oh. most of it is like everyone loves it. As I'm saying, Wolf fam, it's time for me to hit the hay. It was short but sweet full day to Mura. We'll hopefully be in tomorrow night. I'm so happy to see your faces tonight. Let's go, Aspie. Malin, I missed Come your on. laugh. Appreciate you, Aspie. Uh, thanks for stopping in and hanging out. Dude, we got salads in the house, too. Look at all these freaking first uh, badges. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of first good badges. Good lord. That is a lot of first What's up, badges. salads? Say goodnight to Aspie. Aspie going to bed. 
Go to land where butter rains from the sky and panda heads, uh, you know, they frolic. Ooh, pop. Freely. By the way, that's oh, really Latte saying, <laughs> Did Tai Fung has good chocolate du- What? Chocolate, chocolate dumplings? Are dessert thing? dumplings? I don't think I've done dessert dumplings. RC saying goodnight, that asking, uh, nudes asking, using, or saying, using rice paper soaked, soaked, then roll it into a long and... Oh, oh roll into a log, and then it's used as tuck and tuck with yeah, for tea. Interesting. Oh. I've never heard of that before. That's an interesting hack idea. Yeah. I could totally try that. Okay. Did you say That's chicken feet? Yes, Suki, which I have made on stream before, because it was Nudes' channel point redemption for Let's Get Weird. I had to cook chicken feet. Chicken feet's actually pretty good, but it's not for everyone, especially if you didn't... I, okay, so I'm cool with chicken feet. I'm weirded out by the duck feet. Have you seen the duck feet? No. Duck feet is the thing. You can what? get it on the Wii app that you told me about. Yeah. Yeah, you want to order duck feet. Dude, they don't look like I don't know about that. Duck feet. Are you huh. going to fry up some ducklings, though? Yeah. I've never had chicken feet before. I would never eat it voluntarily, probably. But I made it. He did not want to eat it. But I ate it. It was yeah. delicious. It I'll was... throw down with chicken gizzards, frog legs, things like... Frog things legs were good. Cow tongue. Gizzards, cow... Do you, or do you want some cow tongue next week? Uh, you doing other tacos? Yeah. Yeah. All right, because we have like five cow tongues in the freezer. Yeah. All right. I put it in your chili once. You were not a fan of that. Because you said the texture threw off your chili. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Arkin Stoner, what up? How are you? Welcome in. Happy Tuesday. Glad you're here. How is your day going? <laughs> Arkin Stoner. I thought it was like What's up, Arkin, everyone? like Arkham Asylum is what I thought it said originally. But yeah, what up? <laughs> All the love to salads. Chicken feet's actually pretty good. It's, I've never had it fried though before. Lengua tacos is mate. Love right them here. chicken feet. Huh? Yes, we have some lengua. We have a lot of lengua. We have like. Todos los lenguas, los, oh, los lenguas de vacas. Suki so says, I'll Fair pass enough. on the poultry foot fetish. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm with you, Sugi. <laughs> was it raw? No, someone in chat did it. I was like, oh, what do I do with the chicken feet? And they're like, oh, no, no it was Robert. You were like, don't forget to give it a pedicure. You were saying I had to trim its nails and give it a pedicure. Poor oh saying tongue is tricky. Was it you? It gets no. chewy so easily if cooked. Uh, over or under. Yeah. I feel that like... Tricky. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever had tongue that's not, to some extent, a little chewy. What if you what if you uh, tenderize the, the beef tongue in baking soda water solution? Because we just did that the other day mm. for the bison, and it really made it nice and soft and kind of took out some of the chewiness. I wonder if that would work mm. on... Oh. Goose Chuck saying, I want crispy fish tacos. Yum. Yum. With a Baja sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Dudes, oh my god. I need to get about three kgs <laughs> of that chicken feet to make stock soup. Oh, that, yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah, chicken feet. Yeah, chicken feet's really good for stock. That's like 6.6 6 pounds. <laughs> that's a lot. I want to do um, chicken knees popcorn chicken. You can get chicken knees. So it's like, fish tacos? like fatty, fatty greatness. Never had a catfish taco. I would do a catfish taco. Oh yeah. Those are really good. Chicken knees from wheat. Yeah, yeah. The chicken knees. So if you guys don't know, the, the joint part of a chicken leg is actually really chewy and fatty and delicious. It's weird, but it's like, there's actually a lot of fat in your knees and chicken knees apparently. So on the Wii app, which is like for Asian grocery store delivery stuff, that you can get a whole pound of chicken knees. It's just the knees of chickens. And I want to do chicken popcorn chicken knees. with that. Yeah. I, just, I, just, I just air fry straight up and eat it with rice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's delicious, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's got a fun, chewy texture. It's kind of crunchy, chewy. And it's really fatty, delicious. It's probably very Kathy friendly. Mm. Very keto friendly. Yeah. I might have to get some chicken knees. Okay. Crispy so fish tacos like sound good. Catfish tacos oh, sound better. Yeah. Cajun catfish tacos. No. Oh, and as a thing, I can do that. I can do that. Goose Chuck AFK, make pulled pork with Coca Cola sauce for your fans. It's I think so we did that. Good. I think we've done yeah. that. So we definitely did. I think it was. I'm okay. It wasn't pulled pork. I did pulled beef with Coca Cola sauce mm. for my fans. Yeah. New saying, yeah, about six and a half pounds. I'll be doing the maths later because I need to cook about 15 to 20 portions of Thai duck noodle soup before the birthday. Woo-hoo! Big old birthday. 
Her, uh, Nuta's birthday is the same day as Jace's. Oh. oh, it's Nuta's birthday? Nice. Nuta's birthday, Jace's birthday, and Erica, the girl who bakes, mm. her son, Rowan's birthday, all the same day. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm doing busy up in here. So is it the 64th of October? Yes. <laughs> so good. Welcome, Antique Gomez. That is the most of the menu today. Yep, yep. Chicken knees said really fast sounds like some kind of tiny dog with chicken knees. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Chickenies. Oh my god, Suki, it totally does. Chicken knees. Oh, it's your favorite breed of dog. Well, I just wanted to really get this cute little chicken knees. It's the cutest little dog. Yeah, okay, it totally does sound like that. Oh it my god, like you guys that have like zipped up in a purse and left there. Oh, that's not a nice thing to say. Huh? He said it, a chicken knees sounds like a tiny dog that fits in a purse and should be locked in zipped there. Up zipped there. up and left in there. That's so mean. Robert, would you like some Doralees or some double oak oh, yes. Woodford yeah. Reserve? Which one do you want? Oh. I know. I'll go with the Doralees. Doralees. Goose Chuck, what about bulgogi and onions and other stuff? Hell yeah. Dude. Bulgogi any what? day. Goose. Any day. What? Bulgogi every day. Yeah, so we it's a good day. we could do some bulgogi. We so we did an experiment with kalbi, which has a very similar marinade to bulgogi. We did an experiment if you used Sprite or Coke in your marinade to help tenderize oh, the meat yeah. and give it flavor. Sprite one. How it Sprite go? My, my one. family uses Dr Pepper. Ooh. Dr Pepper. So someone else was talking. Someone else was talking. Twenty-three different spices. Yeah. Chow was saying for, uh, I think it was a ribs marinade, if you're doing ribs, there was people who were like, I use Coke, blah, blah, blah. And then someone was like, why not Dr. Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> Go rogue. I think Dr. Pepper's a good call too, yeah. Did go miss? Did you make egg salad? What recipe are you re uh, referring to for? Uh, we did not make egg salad yet. I have not started cooking. Right now we're doing shumai and dumplings. And as with all my cooking, T. Gomez, um, or almost all my cooking. There is no recipe. It's an egg salad. Egg salad is egg salad. You just boil up some eggs, chop them up, add it's some Kathy mayo. Rogue reference. Yeah. No, there there is no. So for the Elmo egg salad, it will be a take on deviled eggs because it's National Deviled Egg Day, and I will just make deviled eggs and see what happens. I don't even know. I was looking at the wrong clock. Yeah, I don't know a recipe. It's just <laughs> so mayo, it's some sort egg. of. Acid, Dijon like. mustard, paprika. Oh, no, it's not onion. Something else in there? Salt, pepper. Yeah, that's fine. Really? Yeah, no, else is in deviled eggs. Yeah. Jenny always adds a little bit of minced apple What's and that? a little One, bit six, of five? minced yeah. onion in her deviled eggs, and they're really right. good. Yeah. Are you done with this now? Scrampies and the porkies. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. That's why I say referring to instead of using. Oh, yeah, no, I am not going to be referring to a recipe either. I'm just doing it off the top of my head. I've made, I think I've made enough deviled eggs in my life to, you know, the steam baskets know right. like the basic ingredients, but I'll, Genius. I don't know. And then I'll let Chad tell me if there's anything yeah, I no, should exactly. do different. Smart. And it's like the heat rises up. So what? yeah, like it's so, these things are genius. Yeah. Mr. Port said, uh, the best kitchen invention ever made. Yeah. I, uh, they, there's a valid argument ever? to be made. But you can make so many. Like, can you imagine how far you can step? What's better than that? The KitchenAid? No. I really like my KitchenAid. It has so many. <laughs> um, how about the 5-in-1 immersion stick blender? I really like my stick blender. This is a single-use tool. You're comparing it to multi-use tools. Okay. For single-use tool, rice cooker. What? There's nothing in... We just steam. We just steam <laughs> You can fucking steam the rice in that <laughs> shit. You can steam it in the rice cooker. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You don't even need the rice cooker. I'm trying to think if there is rice a better... Rice cooker is unnecessary. Is there a better... That is necessary. Is there a better kitchen? Like when you're in a college dorm room, not everybody has bamboo steamer baskets, but everyone has a coffee pot. I don't know. What? Yeah, you I can steam it. rice in... Okay, so ports is yeah, that's what I was saying. That the bamboo steamer is the single best kitchen construction. Ooh. Hmm? Cat say the uh, the espresso machine. An espresso machine. Espresso machines, like I, not necessarily like, whatever. But yes, the, the ingenuity in making coffee or espresso. We need to get a new espresso machine that's like half the size of our old one. 
What do you make coffee with now? We just use a drip coffee maker. Oh. It's like a Spoke big machine coffee. is super complex. This yeah. is very simple. I like how simple and it's been around for ages. Yeah. No tech, no, not very much technology going yeah, on. Yeah, that's true. That thing, it, that is not going to break down on you like. I try to make one of those though. <laughs> you hold your chopsticks, cute. Oh, no, you no. do, yeah, you do the other way. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, my friends will be like, hey, can you teach me how to use chopsticks? You're like, no. <laughs> how do you do that? That's actually back, fascinating. You know, like when you, uh, it's like how you hold a pencil, the friction. But yeah, I can't but use. You, you're doing it the. You, you can't use Korean chopsticks. I can't use Korean chopsticks. Yeah. Every time I go to Korean chopsticks, I have to Do you pull up? You yeah, know, like scissors. That explains why my uh, my Korean uh, That's super grandfather, my yeah, emo, my imopu harabaji, uh, he's my more or less my Korean grandfather. He was very hard on us to use proper chop chopstick technique for the longest time. Like if anyone, if any of us, the grandkids were holding it weird, he gave us a hard time and like made sure we learned correctly. I think it's for that reason because you can't. He's Korean. You can't hold Korean chopsticks. And other ways, you have to hold them like the traditional way, or else, yeah, it's like Snug impossible. Redeeming water Caffrey. Water Caffrey heard. You want uh, garlic soy, or you want? Oh, that was hot. Oyster yeah, that's hot. The magic Tuesday night eat. tradition: you have to <laughs> shove the food. Someone in your mouth has to burn their mouth. Someone has to burn their mouth every single day. Howdy, Snug. Welcome huh? in. You can mix and match it and just each time with recipes. That's true. Oh. That's true. I don't know, I know what this is. Um, this you choy. There's certain things that I, I don't, yeah, certain things, like if I make kimchi jjigae, there is never a recipe for that. It's just like kimchi and then you go rogue. Uh, deviled eggs, I think is similar. Yeah. Similar like French toast. No one ever uses a recipe for French toast, do they? It's just like you beat some eggs, you add a splash of milk, a little bit of vanilla. Yoma's asking where you can get a bamboo steam basket. Amazon and uh, any Asian market. Ports isn't fond of, uh, isn't fond of espresso. Prefer the regular brewed coffee. Mm -hmm. There you go. Don't understand. By the way, I didn't think alerts were working. I don't think alerts are working. Some of them are, maybe not all of them. Huh? Yeah, that okay. host didn't fire. Oh, That's weird. I want you to fry it. Yeah, the hosts don't this. always fire. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. Like that. Uh, oh, but the this. subs one was working and the raised one was working. Thanks for the single boost, T. Gomez. Thank appreciate you. you. Ports. That is one of those tech things that makes Malin. Oh, that wait. That is one of those tech things that Malin could make to make board dumplings for his island board battle survival scenario. I don't, I, dude, I'll take on a board if we're taking on making one of those steam baskets. <laughs> the steam basket's not going to fight back and kill you. Yeah, but I probably will never be able to do that. Oh. Fair uh, enough. Yeah, you want some boar bow? Hell yeah. Boar bow? Boar bow. Boar bow. Oh. oh yeah, how long did the rendering last from last week? Oh, rendang, sorry, I can't read. That night? Yeah, yeah it, lasted, it lasted like two days. There was like maybe one more serving left over, which uh, we sent Robert home with a little for lunch. A long way. It lasted like another two meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Port saying the steam basket's not that hard to make. You can make a fairly simple makeshift steam basket. I think Probably so. Probably Because it's very flexible. See how it's doubled? I think it's doubled up. I do so wonder. you just wet it and yeah. then you fold it. I mean, I know, I know why it's circular, but it would be much easier to make it square. You could also have them square. I feel like this efficient. is more watertight. Don't know. Because there's less there's less creases. So we went to a dim sum place and they served me my my shumai in a square thing. That's true. And I thought it was so weird. <laughs> I don't know, is it do you can you pack more things with circles or squares? Or why would you why are they circles? Uh, some some restaurants like they have like special theme stations. So like yeah, materials like, wise, it's more efficient than a circle. Is it? Mm -hmm. Also, this yeah. fits into pots easier because most pots are circular. Oh, yeah. Okay, pots. that makes sense. But by restaurants, <laughs> they, they would have like these rectangular steam vents. So they just stack these square baskets on top of the steam vent. Uh, but look, see, this is a circle. That is a circle. Therefore, yeah. the circle yeah. works. Materials closer to uh, circular or uh, spherical is less material, which is why your soda cans are cylindrical. Oh. Uh, if they want perfect efficiency, they would be spheres. And you would be drinking out of that. I want to drink out of a sphere. 
Yeah. <laughs> apple juice comes in spheres. Sometimes, yeah, they do. Maybe they're going to do little yeah. apples. Apple yeah. juice. Per volume. Uh, you can make simple fair makeshift one. Kathy, can you check Whisper real quick? Let me know if you approve of this uh, bamboo steamer set I found on Amazon just now. Uh, T goes, I have a pretty strict rule of not checking things while I'm on stream, um, but I can check it out after stream for sure. And, and But I will say I am not the uh, go-to person on steamer, so I can give my two cents, but I am not a professional. Amazon, if you're going to shop on Amazon, whatever one Amazon says is Amazon choice. That's usually the one I go with. So the Amazon says it's good. One. I would agree with it. Round is actually easier to make, says Ports. I, I so disagree. You, if you, like, so okay. the edge is like a strip, yeah, right, of bamboo. So it's a thin cut. Like you soak it there. so it's malleable. You fold it. You pin it. Purple. You think garlic? It's so much better than trying to cut four equal things. You go and say bamboo, not bambi. Ah, you know, yeah, I, got I, you. I, I got use you. a bambi steamer. Ports all say the square oh. ones are harder to make in a way that stacks because you have to measure them more exactly. exactly. You have the same issue with circular. This one is one, and if it's a little too big, you just cut it and then you poop, and then it's, you only got one adjustment to make out of four things like metal on metal. Mm -hmm. metal Mr. Engineer. While the circle ones are easy to make, is you only need to have the length of the band do the same, and then when you soften them, they bend the same rate. There are more cuts. I will give you that. Ports. I would still wager it is. More cuts up means more fuck up a bullness. Oh, you're good. He goes, okay, thank you. Yes. Just two cents. When you did floors, we did an extra 20% budget for fuck up bullness. Yeah. <laughs> Sugi, I think alcohol in a sphere would be comical. Bunch of drunk people chasing their aluminum balls full of booze around the floor. <laughs> oh my god, I almost had bourbon come up my nose, or scotch. I almost had scotch come up my nose. No, bourbon, what am I doing? Is this bourbon? Bourbon. Yeah, I'm just imagining a bunch of drunk people chasing balls around, like, you need booze. Good. I made the three baskets of four, and the rectangular was way harder to make than the round one. I think so too. That makes a lot more sense to me. All right. Well, if, I make, if I'm on an island, I'm making square ones. When you, what, who are, was it you and oh Cypher stuck on an island together? Oh shit. I think it was supposed to be a Malin and Cypher stuck on an island. When Malin and Cypher, an Cypher are stuck on their island together, I don't remember why we chat and I banished. You guys to an island together. I think Cypher's oh gonna God, do all the cooking and now we'll build a steamer basket. Should I? Should I start what are you? Scissors? Frying up some vegetables. I got two. Oh, Jenny would be so proud of us right now. Eating our greens. That almost looks like bok choy. What kind of green is that? This is a yu choy. A yu choy? A what? what it is. Yu choy. It's a yu choy. What is yu choy? I bet Nudes knows what yu choy is. Yeah, what, what is it actually called? Yu Choi. Yu Choi. It's a Yu Choi. Why Yu Choi? It looks like spinach and bok choy had a baby. Yeah, they look like. It's like almost meat. like a Chinese broccoli, but yeah. leafier. Oh. Yeah. Yu Choi. Yu Choi. I don't know. It's a dark, leafy green, which means it's healthy for us, right? Healthy. Um, Yu Choi. Yu Choi. Uh, Y U C H O Y. I just go to the Asian store and grab a random vegetable. Which one's your Asian store you go to? No, Which one go? was from H-Mart, right? No. Did, was it from H-Mart? No, this was from uh, uh, it, an Asian market. Is Asian it called market? an Asian uh, market? Yeah. You, yeah, sometimes the markets about, don't uh, have green Uh, my kind of store? No, the one in Shoreline. Oh, yeah, it's actually just called Asian market. <laughs> like, literally, that's the name of the store. Steve has made this house smell amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Our house smells good. Our house Wait, what are you sauce sauce you with it? You go uh, sauce yeah, let's just toss in some uh, oyster sauce. All right. See, no this is how I learned to cook. On the fly, Robert's like, uh, I don't know what we're going to put in it. We'll just look around, grab stuff, throw it in there. That's how Robert cooks. I'm going to pepper. pepper. You choy, sometimes pepper. called uh, choy sum in Cantonese or called kai in Mandarin has a fresher, sweeter taste no, than Chinese broccoli or gailan. For more explanation, visit that website. We can read more about this stuff. Walks of Life says that. Mm. Walks so Walks of Life okay. says, Walks of Life, which we all love in this kitchen, says it's fresher, sweeter taste than Chinese broccoli. Wow. Fresher, well, that I'm all down. It looks more tender than that. Yeah. 
At least these socks are skinnier. Than Would be kind of fun to do Chinese broccoli or yu choy or bok choy and do like southern style style collard greens, but using all Chinese ingredients, mm -hmm. like a fusion. Chinese Southern Fusion. I would totally be down for that. Are you top with sesame oil or you uh, end with sesame oil? Or you put sesame oil <gasps> and then I instead of bacon, you oh, could yeah. add char soup. Oh, what yeah. if you made Southern style collard greens, but you did all Chinese ingredients and you used char soup to bacon? <gasps> yes. That Is it good? good? That it sounds like, like some fusion I can get behind. That oh, really this good. looks like a nice experience. It, I think it looks like bok choy and spinach had a baby. Or spinach and Chinese broccoli had a baby. Yeah. Very good. It's done. Don't Hot. burn yourself. <laughs> yeah, she just ran around. Out of the she didn't even have the bandage just shoved it in. You're missing garlic. Wonder. Garlic? You need garlic? There's not that much stuff. I have I have cream and this garlic. garlic this is garlic list. Needs garlic. Maybe you can make a little garlic sauce for you. Yeah, I can make garlic sauce. We also have yeah, we have that too. Wait, is the Chinese garlic out? Okay. So you can use either of those. We'll use this. And it's so good. So good. I love the, the cream and garlic at H Mart. I love it so much. It's so, I don't know what they do to it that makes it so much better than the other ones, but it's super good. Cream and garlic. Robert doesn't like Less that. fatty steam. Less fatty steam. That sounds like blasphemy and delicious, right? Yeah, Kathy's. Chinese Southern Fusion collard greens. Oh yeah, that'd you be good. You need a little bit more that'd oyster really sauce good. or soy sauce. Oyster sauce. Or oyster sauce. I think we should do this. A little bit more this. on top, and then you're done. Well, that oh, it would be a lot of work because then we got to make the char siu by ourselves. So oh, we have to make char siu. Like. Because we got to get Chinese broccoli, or yeah. bok choy or something. Can I stir it though? And a yeah, lot of butter. Mm, there we go. Garlic made it better. See? Garlic yes. almost always makes things better. That's good. That's good now. Also, I want some butter. No. Get out of mm, here. I'm okay with the butter. <laughs> no. Get out of here. But no Vegetable. Done. Oh, I'll serve Mermaid. Food. Making me hungry. Yes. Always bring snacks to a food and drink stream. Always bring snacks. Yeah. yeah I can't believe. Oh, I didn't try Robert's yet. I want to try. Yeah, I'll show chat. This has got like a lot of... Look at Robert's... Um. This is his dumpling that he steamed. Look at how many cleats this thing has. Oh, it's so nice. You gotta tell me if you can taste the difference between Robert's and mine. Tasting the different turd. Is it different? Is it the same? I taste it. Me? Slightly different, but both very, very good. You guys have the same ratio of, um, of meat to dump. No, yours has more meat in it. Mine's meatier, his is more cabbage -y, I have onions and cabbage in it. Minced. Yeah. Both are supremely good. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Oh, uh, take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. You know be perfect is if we still had crispy garlic, but I don't think we have crispy garlic. I was just thinking, like, do you have a topper? We had crispy garlic. I don't know where I put the crispy garlic. Oh, that garlic is so good. Taking a picture, heard. Did you did white pepper in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so bright green. So healthy. It's like the healthiest thing that's been in this kitchen for since the last time you guys were here. Very green. I don't know. Oh, that's great. Mmm. The garlic. The secret is garlic and water makes a good sauce. Garlic water. Garlic water. Put that in a super soaker, you can send out vampires. Mm. Garlic water. Garlic. Holy garlic water. You get the leafy part, it's like soaked in the garlic water. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Maybe we should start with the green stuff. Not the pound and a half of pork. I disagree. Mm. I like the pound and a half of pork. Bung, um, and Robert both used um, the circular dumpling wrappers that you buy at the grocery store. Uh -huh. I don't know which brand though. I don't know. Doesn't matter. No, so someone was making dumplings 
the other day, and they came into chat, and they said, fuck the blah, blah, blah brand of dumpling wrappers, mm. because it screwed them over, and, like, half of them ripped. Oh. oh. So, so there's thin and thick. Ours is gyoza wrappers, <laughs> are thicker. But the thin <laughs> ones cook faster. Who's there? Now it's really weird. What are you, what are you working at? What a latte. Steams off and then fries it afterwards. That yeah, one. Yep. Yeah, I put a little oil, 
I already stick the put the pot stickers in, so we'll fry a little bit and then I add water to steam it. And then when it's cooked, I lift off the lid so then I can finish frying. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's how Crystal does hers too. She steams them in the water and then once all the water's evaporated, she adds the oil and then fries it. Mm -hmm. And it's so good, that's how we do it too. Vegetables are so cheap. Gyoza wraps. So yeah, the gyoza wraps are thicker than some of the other dumpling wrappers. So apparently gyoza is the way to go. Uh, and then when I did my dumpling challenge, I used gyoza wrappers as well. And mine didn't Fruits are as hell, though. Yeah, it is? Fruits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the amount of garlic in there looks mm. sexy. That is a sexy amount of garlic. It's actually not over, like, when you said that, I was expecting way more. <laughs> no, it's pretty perfect. It's a good balance of flavor. Oh, this is good. The piece. garlic is in the sauce. Garlic water. Sauce. Garlic water herd. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned that from my grandma. I was like, how do you flavor your vegetables? Because I used to just uh, fry good. garlic. Well, and then you'd be them. like, why is it my vegetables because, uh, smell like garlic? I, dr I dressed like, up as the water. Like uh, uh, vegetables soak up the nice. water. Yeah. And they're infused. Oh, yeah, they infused. Oh, infused. So, wow. So. That makes a lot of sense. Mermaids, my grandmother had a condition where she can't eat like, like, the ingredients. Okay, well, except for Mermaid's grandma. I, Roll out the cannons, boys. We'll steal us some wine. Puff Tijuana Smalls and shake as you bake. I'm taking that to Primus song. Thank you, Kamesa, for the bit. Roll out the cannon, boys. Thank you. Um, what's Robert making now? Robert is still making dumplings, but he's going to do them differently. So he did them in the steam basket. That's one technique. Now he's doing another technique where he's going to steam them in a pan, and then he's going to fry them. All in one pan. Just using the water. Dual cooks pot stickers. Yeah, that's what this is called. Dual cook. Dual cook. Carrie Gold is life. Yeah, except for when you explode it in the dishwasher and all of chat shames you for wasting $4 of butter. I exploded $4 worth of butter in one night. So you asked me if there's butter in the bucket. Yeah, and I was like, please tell me someone else exploded butter in the bucket. She did not. She did not explode the butter. Yeah, one stick of Carrie Gold butter, like eight ounces, four bucks. I exploded I mean, it so not, much, it was bad. coating but all of the inner in the parts of the microwave and like raining from the top <laughs> so of the microwave. So with your cream. beer like, in <laughs> hand and walk away. Yeah. 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 wants to eat all the dumpling things. Eat all the dumpling things. Would you ever consider playing Gyoza Roulette? Retro, if you're talking about the game I'm thinking that, about, yes. So we played yeah, that game, we had a dumpling party, and there was eight of us, ten of us, who so all made dumplings so together, there were different Saturday. stations. Tomorrow, people making the filling, people doing the cooking, and then people doing the folding. Games, and then every now and then someone would make one just full of garlic, nothing else in it. They made a dumpling that had nothing but garlic in it, and we cooked it and fried it with everything else, and we played dumpling roulette where no one knew if you got that one that was just straight garlic. If that's the game you're talking about, yes, we do play that when we have dumpling parties. But is there another version of gyoza roulette? What Anything else is gyoza roulette? Like you can fill it with anything it's weird. Like yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a spider. <laughs> <laughs> like a tarantula. <laughs> tarantula wasabi? dumplings. Oh, a wasabi one. That'd be kind of a bitch move. That would be painful. Oh, uh, yeah, that really sucks when butter explodes in the microwave and it's just gone. Yeah, set cats. I feel like we have a really expensive butter. Not really expensive, but that's fairly expensive for a stick of butter. I think that's the first vegetable we've had in a while. Blobby can lick. You guys haven't had any vegetables. It's okay, I haven't had a lot of you. Yeah, what the fuck are you laughing for? I'm trying to think, like, outside of... Onions count, right? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was about to say, outside of onions <laughs> and maybe some potatoes, like... Mushrooms! You know, like, a, a, a dish... You know, I have lettuce on a sandwich. I made salad! This is pro... This is you like, made a side salad so only for you today. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> did you want one? Yeah. When have I... Like turn down. Food. That's true. I make really good salads. So I smell bad. Oh, oh, are you saying you want more greens in your life? <laughs> I'm just asking why you're trying to make me fat. <laughs> is it, is it doing it? Yeah. You want to do it now? Yeah. I will make more greens for you. I promise. Hot. Wow. I haven't had a dishwasher in two years. I've been hand washing really. It's soothing and stress relief for me. I kind of want a dishwasher. I see both. <laughs> Tingo, Ben. Sneak a peek. How do you do it? Kathy's art. 
Kathy's thing sticks so much. Stainless steel, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's a bitch ass walk. It's called pus stickers for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good one. Yeah, that one's just, uh, I actually don't usually do it in this one. I was surprised you did that. I always do it in the nonstick pan. Oh, too, that's what the oil's for. Yeah, a lot more oil. He's going to have to liberate those. Yes. Yeah, I'm really close to, like, donating. I'm actually surprised that the, the water also steaming them doesn't make it easier to. Well, water's all gone. No, all the water's and gone. undo. Okay. Yeah, the, you can add more water and try to soften it. But that might, that, no, that's going to get very explosive. Yeah, usually uh, water's good. Splashing your face. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're not Especially good. when mixed with oil. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun time. It's fun for everyone. Uh, I did flambe the other night on accident. <laughs> it was fine. oil on fire? No, the oil in itself on fire. Oh, also that butane torch? Yeah. That you had, when did you get that? Uh, Like two months after Robert got one. Robert, when did you get a butane torch? I lit a cigar I on oh, Halloween. Ago. I lit a cigar with some of you had that, and I was like, fuck, oh, I need one of these. I come home and on the counter was the exact same thing that I just picked up. The other thing uh, was the, um, how do you say urchin in Japanese? Uni? Uh, do you know what an uni is? Like, not the food, the stove. Have you seen an uni? Everybody needs to look up, I forget how it's spelled. It might be O-O-N-I-E. Oven. An uni oven. What's an uni oven? Look it up. Why are we going down a You need to look at it because explaining it is not going to do it justice. O O N I E. No, I metal so. metal the space ovens after it. Oh my gosh. How do you cook anything in this wok? Yeah, that's the pizza oven. Dude. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. So um, awesome. that pizza it oven is, is fucking so. Incredible. Cheese pizza has one of these. It is fucking Cheese incredible. pizza, fellow food and drink schumer, he has one of those. Yeah, the, oh, cool. so it's the, the $800 version is the one that the dude had in. Uh, this one? Yeah, I think so. And uh, it was legit. Where do you put one of these? Indoors? Outdoors? Outdoors. He had it on his it's deck. A pellet, it's a pellet stove. Yeah, he had oh it on his deck. Yeah. Eight more magic to uh, Kathy. Um, Bobby can lick the microwave. Demon in the oven with says ceviche. Yes, demon oven correctly. <laughs> <laughs> gotta cook them demons somehow. So Retro saying for uh, their gyoza roulette, fill one of the dumplings with wasabi and cayenne, like really spicy stuff, and garlic. Just to explode whosoever mouth that gets that unfortunate dumpling. Gyoza roulette filled with garlic only sounds painful. It was very painful. And Tigo has, I do half of my dishes by hand and half of my dishes with dishwasher. I like the balance of both. I actually also find cleaning my kitchen kind of relaxing at the end of the day. Need some glasses. Today has been insane with two. I'm sorry, PQ. Equalizes. Yeah, see, Suki said the same thing. Cheese pizza has an oven. Yeah. Dude. It was the first time I've seen it. like three of those ovens. And the pizza took less than five minutes to make. It what? Was like, yeah, 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 yeah. They get up ridiculous. It's, it's it a is a thousand demon degrees. It's yeah, a it's a thousand demon degrees. Oven. Holy crap. And it takes less the than five minutes. The fires of hell are not as hot as that oven. So he has like three of them. It's comical because at 12, they, so 1200 hot. degrees, I that's when it starts so I can eat it, but, bending um, and shit. <laughs> picture her. I am Where'd you leave off? Gomez, unfortunately, don't tell anyone, though. I haven't oh, had. Oh, yeah, I'm caught up. These are the fried ones. They're good. Y'all mm -hmm. like some of the fried ones. They are hot. They are it's hot. The fucking They're Pope hot. Catholic. Mm -hmm. This one. I'm full. I'm done. No, no you have to keep eating. Oh. You can't stop now. Stings. Thanks. Ooh, the fried part. Yeah. always gets me so excited. Dumplings. Three ways. Mm. Robert doing the Lord's work. Mm. All right, Robert. Eat your vegetables. Yeah, I will. I'm full. Hot. <laughs> There's veggies in these. Mm. Yes, there is. Wait, yeah. I snuck some. Uh, are these vegetables? Are water chestnuts what? Vegetables? Yeah, sure. Chestnuts? Yeah. yeah. Is that a vegetable? Well, I'm, I don't think they're actually chestnuts. Though. Water chestnuts? What is a water I chestnut? Like, I don't actually know. I are they a it's tuber? a tuber? Right? Oh, type I'm, of radish. Kind of radishy. They're definitely mm. radishy. So yes, the vegetables. These are super I good. Cast right? vegetables. Mm. Oh, and the fried. Oh, good. The fried oh. finish. So satisfying. Texture wise, <laughs> beautiful. Half crispy, half not crispy. That's not really. I, I think the steamed dumplings taste healthier, but the fried dumplings just get me excited. I just, I just love them. But they're not entirely deep fried, so. Yeah, I, they're better. Like, I don't like.
like my dumpling fully fried because then they're too hard and sometimes they scratch the roof of your mouth. That way is the perfect way to do a dumpling. Half steamed, yeah. half fried. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Half and half? I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The best of both worlds. Well, I was having a uh, cookie. It is a demon oven. They're ridiculous. So cheese pizza has at least two, That's, if not three, different styles so like of pizza thingies like on, the, the, in, on the his bread. deck. It's like super crusty. Like oh, that's Jay's. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> I don't know why, but I just... I, I Hi, Pinky. Yeah, we don't talk about politics in the stream, but uh, good on you. Hope you're having fun. Nunes wants Fung to eat more veggies. I think I think she's going to pop. <laughs> eat more veggies. <laughs> eat more veggies. <laughs> It's really hard. Uh, Tika, what kind of dishwasher do we have? I think it's a Samsung, oh, right? I'm trying for it. That's what? not labeled. Oh, I, I'm almost yeah, positive it's a Samsung. Your buttons are up back here? Back yeah. Back. That way the toddler can't grab them. What? Is that a Samsung? Oh. I think it's a Samsung. Where is the brand? I don't know. It's so sad. Yes, that is a Samsung dishwasher. Malin says it's a Samsung. But the thing I like about it is... Uh, I think I'm almost certain it is. When it's closed... It's really sleek looking, and you can't see any of the buttons. So when the toddler walks by, they never push any of the buttons because you can't see them. They're like hidden on top. And also, I like my dishwasher. Oh no, it's an LG. LG. I knew it was Korean. It's a LG. But the thing I like about it is it has a third rack on the very top that's just used for like plastics or things. So it's it's like the delicates rack, and I use that for all of my mason jar lids because I usually have at least eight mason jar lids every load and so i really like that it has that secret yeah. extra top rack i love I that miss the, i missed the first goal on the corner it's so good we got there about uh minutes. that's me the past few days wanting to pop yeah we we eat a lot oh, of food i made a yeah. lot of good food today i was very Sorry. proud of myself i made the yeah. best best salad I that i think i've ever made salad, today dude. or yeah, today i made the best salad i've ever made in my it's life and the reason is it reminds me of a salad that i used to have at a greek I'm restaurant back back in college and, and we used to eat at this restaurant too. every single sunday for brunch and i always got the same salad and i didn't yeah, really like salad i really <laughs> didn't eat my vegetables <laughs> when i was younger but the salad was so I'm freaking great. good and I, I could always try to recreate it my entire rest of my life i've never been able to until today Today, I figured out how to make the salad that this one restaurant made. I figured out the dressing. Is the dressing? I figured out the dressing. The ingredient, so it's uh, oil, balsamic vinegar, like your your kind of Italian or Mediterranean seasoning, like basil, oregano, shit like that. The secret ingredient was Dijon mustard. What? Here, politics. Too many puppies are shot in the dark. Too many puppies are trained not to bark. Hopefully we blew that out of the system. That was so random, Cabeza. That's probably not a song lyric. Thank you, Cabeza, for the bits. Nudes is on her lunch break. Have fun. That is the menu. LG does make dishwashers. LG makes everything. LG and Samsung, I think, are rivals for cell phones and, like, anything electronic Korea makes. What is your fridge? A Fisker and... Pascal? Pascal? It also doesn't I covered it up with aluminum falcon. Oh. Chat renamed my fridge and I put a label on it. Oh. Fisher and Pascal, whatever, it's the same thing yeah, downstairs. It is the only freaking fridge that fits in that space. We had no choice but that one fridge. But yeah, it's Fisher and Pascal or something like that. It's not a great fridge. It's very expensive for doing the same thing that every other fridge does. I would not recommend it. It's too expensive. But it matches everything. Like That's the it. only reason why we have it is because it matches everything and was the only one that fit there. So I think the house originally had one of those fridges, and now for eternity until we remodel it, the only brand that makes that size of fridge that fits in that damn space is that fucking brand, which costs twice as much as a regular fridge and does nothing extra. Doesn't have any extra fancy feature. Doesn't work any better than any other fridge. And half the time the ice doesn't work. Is I don't it like. small? It's smaller. It's smaller than most fridges. I want a new fridge. Yeah, a small a fridge dishwasher. would be too small. Yeah. I wanna I would like to remodel this someday, take that out, and I wanna give that Samsung frig, fridge that has the uh, cameras on the inside. So like if you're at the grocery store or whatever, you're like, oh do we have milk? You can just look and it can show you a live feed of your camera of inside your fridge. So you can always see inside your fridge. 
kind of ridiculous, but I kind of want. It seems fun. Or you can also spy on your kids to see if they're raiding the fridge. Lana's been here the whole time. She's a good puppy dog. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know Lana was here. Uh, Pink King also does the steam and then frying of the dumplings. That's right. And then Suki says we may have the same dishwasher. Yeah, twinsies. Dishwasher twinsies. It, yeah, I really like my dishwasher. I do not like my refrigerator, though. I find it very annoying. Yeah. Water chestnuts is an aquatic veg, apparently, says News. Oh, nice. Aquatic vegetable? It's an aquatic vegetable. What's that mean? A vegetable that grows in water. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Where were we? News is on our lunch. Uh, that's definitely a song lyric. Wait, are you mocking me and just didn't see it? Wait, what? No, I saw it. I saw it. I feel, uh, I feel that's why it's, uh, why it too is weeks to get a new refrigerator because it has to fit into a custom made pantry around it. T. Gomez. Yes. 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 Super freaking annoying. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, Mr. Ports is back. What did I miss? Well, Robert is, he steamed, well, he made vegetables, which we destroyed. Oh, look, now all that's left is like the fun parts. You can put this over rice. We ate all the vegetables. Robert steamed and then fried dumplings up. We also did the regular steaming of dumplings. My neighbor came in bomb stream and him and Malin went to go look at something and we ate more food. That's pretty much it. I'm really digging these greens though. One, two, three. Oh, Robert, you should be friends with your neighbor. Oh yeah, we got new neighbors across. Oh the really? And yeah. the neighbors came by for trick or treat to introduce themselves. They're half Laos, half Cambodian. But Robert doesn't remember their names because he didn't ask. Where they're half Laotian and half Cambodian. Yeah. Yeah. Can she you imagine funny. the food at their house? She yeah. was very funny. Oh my god, very cute, very funny. And then I made a mistake. I was like, oh, your kid's so cute. And is he a bear? And she's like, no, he's an Ewok. Yeah. No, that was me too. I, I was like, so I was, I was never like shaking my head. I'm no, like, it's an Ewok. No. How can you mess up? Yeah, was he wearing the little yeah. leg? Yeah. 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 Okay. So my first thing, or my first Halloween with Jace, I used a teddy bear onesie and turned it into an Ewok. And everyone's like, what a cute bear. I was like, he's an Ewok. I was dressed as Princess Leia too on the forest moon of Endor with like the camo poncho and everyone's like, oh, what a cute bear. I was like, Leia, Ewok. That means they're cool, right, Robert? Yeah. They know. They're they nerds. Them. They're cool. They like Ewok. They'll make delicious food probably. I want to be friends with your new neighbors. And they're like, oh, all these cars, uh, they were talking about the other people that live in Robert's house. I'm like, oh yeah, I met white Subaru and black truck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I like you. <laughs> Let's just see you know, so like funny. She's hilarious. Bring them to Tuesday nights. Let's meet your neighbors. Like a...